And we're here at Al Mansouri Petroleum Services in Saudi Arabia, in Dahran, of course, at IPTC. And Ibrahim Al Alawi joins me now. Talk to me a little bit about some of the work that's going on here. You've done a few deals since you've been here at IPTC, so this is very exciting. But when you look at the state of the industry here, is Saudi Arabia is obviously the place to be? It is. It is the fastest growing and the largest uh, segment of our industry in the Gulf. And it is very critical and key to our future growth in the region. And we are pinning our hopes on Saudi and we hope that one day, very soon, it will be the major, the major share of our revenue. Well, it is an exciting time and you can see from this conference and exhibition so many people are here. Talk to me about some of the work that you're doing. I mean, you're one of the major oil services companies here, homegrown, uh, regional base. I mean, it's very, very exciting all the work that you've been doing over the last few years and obviously to be at this point now one of the trusted providers in the industry. What are the challenges for the oil services companies at the minute? Today, the challenge is coping with the growth and the changes in the industry. Um, as the industry grows more mature, uh, the fields are more mature and the, the, the requirements of Aramco in uh, doing service work on these fields uh, changes. So the challenge, the big challenge is how do you introduce new technology and exactly the type of technology that you introduce needs to be appropriate for the challenges that you need to, to solve. And of course technology has always driven this industry, but it's probably also in many ways to made your job maybe a little bit more easy. It's probably made it more complex and uh, it's, more, it's different, let's say, over the last few years. Yes, actually we're very excited about technology because, uh, well, you know, as we have more younger and younger people in our organization, they love technology, so we get very excited when there's anything new and it gives us a feeling of accomplishment when we're able to bring a solution that makes our clients happy. And over the years, of course, um, Al Mansouri has moved and expanded. And um, talk to me about a bit about how do you manage in terms of the competitive environment, getting people on board. What what do you think is the key to get young people into this industry and to keep them interested in in the industry and to keep them interested? Okay, well, you know, the younger generation uh, has grown up uh, in a different environment than than people our age did, and uh, so they have different expectations and different. Uh, a different paradigm uh, of looking at life and so to appeal to that we need to to, to speak to them in, a, in the language that they understand so it's no longer uh, the old type of uh, management uh, style where the employees take orders from the boss but it's more of a collaborative approach a team building approach where the, even the youngest and most junior member feels that they are uh, contributing something and that they are adding value to the organization and we find that by using this approach the young people are very receptive to it and, and, and it makes them more dedicated and more loyal to the company and less likely to leave. But I think also for Al Mansouri Specialized Engineering, this is, it's always been a holistic company in many ways. When uh, you look at uh, Nabil, uh, who has been there for a long time too, um, you know, I think he was a bit of a visionary ahead of his time. So I think you've said this was an easy adaptation for you, would you say? Yes, of course, because, uh, because of the vision of our, our leader, uh, he's always been keen on uh, introducing new concepts and uh, we, uh, we've gotten used to that. So we like change and we like to, to try new things and we like to be seen as leaders uh, in our fields. And so uh, changing the way we run our organization uh, has just been natural for us and it, and it makes us happy. And happiness is one of the, the, the key factors that we have in retaining our employees. In fact, we have a chief happiness officer and her job is to ensure that our employees are happy. And uh, that has actually become the most important thing that we look for uh, when we're hiring and, and retaining employees. And if they're not happy, we want to know why. We don't tell them shut up and, and take it. You know, We say, why are you unhappy? What can we do to make you happy? And th this has been received very well, especially by the younger people. And what a fabulous approach. And I think when we talk about that this industry has to have a mind shift, I think we're talking, you know, technology, we're talking in a more holistic way, but probably I think they could all learn something from you. Um, you know, retaining that talent is absolutely essential for the success of this industry and also making sure that you work more efficiently, that you have the environment at the core of what you do. So there's quite a lot of demands on the industry at the moment, would you say? 
Yes, yes, especially from our clients. Uh, they're looking, always looking to, to optimize operations, which uh, translates, in our case, into uh, lower, uh, lower prices. So we have to make do with uh, lower revenues. Um, so how do we cope with that? Is we, we try to get the most out of our employees. And uh, the best way to do that is to keep them happy. Because a happy employee is a more productive employee. And a more productive employee equals a happy customer. There you go. I think I'm already feeling inspired on this. I love it. Um, tell me, you're here in Saudi Arabia. Um, you know, it's been a very, very busy conference and exhibition, but this is the first time IPTC has come here. How important, and again, because you're doing business here, how important is it you know, that this conference and exhibition comes to Saudi Arabia for the first time, and it will be here more and more, I think? Yes, I was very happy to hear that it's going to come back in 2022. Uh, because Saudi Arabia and Aramco is the largest player in the oil industry and uh, it should be given its place where it, it deserves to be. And uh, I think uh, by having IPTC here and bringing it back so soon after this event, um, it shows the industry's commitment to Saudi Arabia.